Sage Wonder coming at you from my favorite blackberry bush. Uh, so many of you who watch the channel know that one year ago, I fell into this blackberry bush and injured my shoulder. I broke something, I don't know what it was, but it's uh, definitely taken me a year, a whole year, one whole year to recuperate to the point where I can actually use a sword. So I bought this sword a year ago, sword, it's a, it's a machete sword, and uh, don't ask me why I bought it, I'm a gun guy, but I guess I foresaw a potential possibility where you might run out of bullets, and uh, maybe I watched too much Walking Dead, but I decided I needed a sword for some reason. <laughs> So, I didn't have a big budget a year ago. I was working on a, a real tight budget, so I decided to purchase this Gladius from Cold Steel. So this is the Cold Steel Gladius. The Gladius, Roman Gladius sword, is probably the most widely used edged weapon in history because the Roman Empire was so huge and they used this style sword for so long. And I think it's based off an earlier Greek design. But um, essentially, this is a pointy, pointy piece of steel. And originally it was designed to be used behind a shield. So you're behind a shield and you're using this scissor motion from behind the shield to fight these people in front of you. And this section of your body from here, from here over is protected by another person whose shield is right up next to you on their side. So it's just, all you see is this shield wall with these scissor blades coming in and out. So its original design was a poking weapon. But this was also carried on guard duty, so it needed to be a slashing weapon sometimes too. Um, if you got into a one-on-one -on -one sword fight, it definitely had to be a swinging, slashing weapon to defend yourself. Because you can't just, you gotta, you gotta parry. <laughs> okay? So the reason I chose this size and style of sword originally was because I'm a Filipino stick fighter. Uh, I'm a practitioner of Cali, and it's a Filipino martial art. And uh, stick fighting and sword fighting are pretty much the same thing. And this is the length of stick I'm used to dealing with. And so uh, I bought a sword that size. But I've done more research. I found some of my favorite, new favorite YouTube channels with sword guys on there that educated me. And that's why I'm going to, and it's coming today. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers any minute. It's coming today. I ordered a uh, Navy Cutlass from, uh, oh, it's a uh, Condor Knife and Tool Company out of El Salvador. And it's supposed to come today. So we'll check that one out. I'll do a similar video on that one. But this Roman Gladius is technically a machete. It has machete um, uh, steel, essentially. And um, so, but this design is after the Gladius sword, the famous Roman short sword. So let's first look at the scabbard. Uh, the scabbard says cold steel right there. Don't know if you can see that or not, but that's embossed with the cold steel uh, logo. Uh, it's made out of Kodora nylon, so it's pretty pretty solid. It's riveted in key places. I do like the, the fact that it's riveted along its edge to protect uh, the, the sword from coming out, the machete from coming out, because it's, it's pretty sharp. We're about to find out. But uh, this bottom part's plastic, so I do like that that has that hard plastic to contain that very pointy end. Uh, because really, once I got control of this and started using it, I see how it's really best suited for stabbing. And slashing is kind of a secondary thing. So this is a pokey, not a stabby, uh, not a slashy weapon. <laughs> I did add this bit of paracord here because I do believe in the use of uh, lanyards because I just really don't, um, I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose it while I'm chopping through the brush. I don't want to fly out of my hands and hurting somebody. And it's no good to me if it's not in my hands. So this makes sure it ain't going nowhere and no one's taking it away from me. You know what I'm saying? So, a little easy, a little harder to, <laughs> to get your hand out of, but it keeps it also from getting, getting away from you. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's look at the blade. Well, first of all, let's look at the, look at the pummel and the grip. This is, once again, it's uh, polyplastic. It reminds me a lot of what a Glock's made out of. It's just it's a, kind of a polycarbonate plastic. Um, you know, pressure injected, so it seems mated pretty good with the blade. The blade is regular machete steel, so it's a lot thinner than uh, a traditional Gladius would be thicker and have more of a spine through the center and beveled edges on both sides. So in this way, it's still a, it's a double edge, double-sided, uh, machete essentially but it does have a really pointy tip and I gotta say one thing cold steel got right was the tip I have no doubt this is gonna go right through our uh, test bottles over there you can see I got I'm poking them already Ooh, I, I crush you wait I crush you I crush you you are tiny I'm crushing you oh, never mind. <laughs> old joke uh, <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this a swing and, and uh, talk to you talk to you a little bit about how it feels and how, see how it performs. Um, I'm glad that my shoulder's better and I can finally swing a sword again. Um, I do think the edge is something I can work on. I haven't spent any time on the edge, but I could. I feel like the edge is kind of rough, and I might get a little bit more uh, slashing power if I work on the edge. The tip, don't mess with the tip, it's fine. I hope it doesn't bend off. I may do a torture test on this once my other sword gets here, because right now, you're looking at my only sword. So, um, anyway, let's get to slashing. Uh, first, I'd like to talk a little bit about Filipino stick fighting and how that the size of this sword is about right, but the weight's all wrong. The balance on this sword, yeah, oops, let me get that right. It's about right there, roughly. Okay, this isn't too bad, but it's it's got a lot of weight in the end, more than a stick, more than a stick does, and I can feel it pulling on my wrist. And when I switch over, you know, especially on my weak arm, I can feel it pulling on my tennis elbow. I'm a wreck. I got an injured shoulder, tennis elbow, a torn meniscus knee. <laughs> so what's your excuse? Why aren't you out swinging a sword? You're not as busted up as I am. So anyway, Filipino stick fighting consists of, you know, I'm gonna tuck this arm in because I don't have a second. I'm not do dual wielding. I'm not Sin Wali. I'm just doing a single, the single fighting. You always tuck your hand in because you don't want this getting cut up you don't want this getting out the way of your sword or their sword and a little extra protection across the center line of your body it's not bad either if you need to go out with the balance and move your hand out for balance you know to balance you I mean you can do that but typically you want to keep this thing tucked in uh, Western fencers you know they do this routine or they put their hand on their hip like the little teapot <laughs> me I tuck mine so you basically this consists of a few key chops. You have your overhand this way, overhand this way, underhand this way, underhand this way. Your parries look like this, they look like this. So the parries are very similar. Parry like that, you parry with the tip. I will say the extra weight when I'm doing this parry, this basic movement here back and forth, which is a part of so much sword fighting, that um, it's hurting my, hurting my wrist a little bit, but I'm out of shape. I'll say that for sure. And I can feel it pulling on my shoulder. So I'm gonna do this and this and the under chop. You have side chops, you have the over the top chop, which comes like that. And that might be from a down position to follow through to the over the top, down, over the center line, break their center line. And there are obviously the lunging method as well. Um, and I'm starting to study saber because it's a different discipline than stick fighting. But you know, hitting somebody with something is hitting somebody with something and it's all fighting. But let's see how the Gladius does against a Coke bottle filled with water. I can't wait, I can't wait. What's up? Ha! I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with the Gladius is cutting power. Tastes like still coke. Ah, let's try another one. So that was your classic overhand saber chop. Let's see how it does with what it's intended to do as a stabby whip. Let's do a little overhand, a little overhand thrust. So, guy comes in, misses his target, overhand. Oh, I missed. See, part of that is the width of this blade obscures the tip. Uh, maybe I should have my glasses. And be like, wait, I'm gonna wait for the sword fight till I put on my glasses. <laughs> Let's try it again. Slipped on the grass, or on the leaves rather. Well, I made a little pokey hole in it. I kind of caught on the bottom. Let's get it before it gets out of water. That was more like it. It's making. Let's just take it off. Pretty good chopper for a stabbing weapon, I gotta say. The extra weight in the end pulls on your elbow, pulls on your wrist, but I gotta say, it gives you some follow through. I wonder how that would do on some serious, uh, like pork chops or something. Maybe we'll make a meat target. I don't know, I haven't got that much money. Let's try another one. wanted to do a light touch and see if it had enough sharpness to cut it. Ah, it nicked it. Yeah, it nicked it a little. Let me try one of, one of those little light touches like a fencing, like a fencing cut. It's 
So clearly it's not a quick sharp blade, but it's designed more for sudden melee strike. And you can see, it cut that really clean. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to get hit with it. Is it the end all be all of swords? Definitely not. It's the beginning of my journey in, uh, in swordsmanship. <clears throat> I can't wait for the cutlass. I think it'll be more of a devastating slashing weapon. This one didn't do as good poking as I thought. I don't have anything else to poke. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just not quite as sharp as I thought it was. But that extra weight right there, that extra weight, I think you'd be hard pressed to keep hold of your arm. I might hit you with that and your arm would just be hanging there. That's kind of grotesque, sorry. <laughs> anyway, having fun with the Roman Gladius. Getting in shape. Hey, take up sword fighting or stick fighting. It'll get you in shape real fast. Swinging something around your head all the time. But anyway, so till next time, when I have another sword to show you, this is Sage Wonder. I was going to touch the screen, but I'll poke a hole right in it.